Man, I sizzle with a chisel. Don't move! Wait! What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest! Ow, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a band-aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If what? you miss the water, don't forget to roll. Oh, ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? Monsieur has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it, after you almost managed to kill me? Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't a bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And <laughs> now look in the mirror. Oh, Rufus, wherever did you get this precious trinket? I picked it up on Elysium. <laughs> you charmer. What's your plan? Porta Rustica is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gol and me. And? Where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. Cheese. I think I'll wait for the right moment for that. We both have so much going on and the year is almost over. Oh, Rufus, where I pick? <laughs> right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Let's take one. Camera ready. Cheese. Hey, boys, good news. I've managed to persuade Pimpy. Uh, Goal, this uh, might look strange, but... Uh... Is that supposed to be me? What sort of perverted games are you playing here? But I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's, it's part of my plan to... Uh, I, I don't want to know. Just, the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. Love is just like the sea, baby, just as deep and as wide, I agree. There 
Come on, don't dawdle! Don't you get it? We're too late! Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius, plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kiddie table. The adults are talking. Psst! Rufus! That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Senior. Senior? Ha! <laughs> Vice Senior's probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you <laughs> my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay, 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. m m m m Boo! Pants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk, either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that, and worked on a real-time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. Maybe it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. Like in all of my favorite movies. Alf 4, The Miscarriage, Cowboy Dodo, and the Alien Blockheads. Or Space Teddies, Kidnapper's Caravan. What's this again? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. Follow-up question, who likes a smartass? No one? Correct. Nothing's ready for the garbage pail yet. A platypus basket. I wonder what it's used for. A handsome little fellow. Goochie goochie goo. Ah. Hey, stop that. The little fellow's pretty aggressive. Uh, probably had a miserable childhood. No friends to help him sabotage strangers' training wheels. Hmm, so sad. K 
Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. So, pay close attention. Mama, mama, mama. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? <gasps> That's a temporal anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. Can someone tell me why the time is not proceeding? Because your lecture is mind-numbingly dull. That's why. How long is this seminar anyway? All day seminars run until eight. What? But that's far too long. It's already been too long. I should be mad at her, but she always gets this cute little frown line between her eyebrows when she gets stubborn. Cole, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm interrupting your lecture. But you, you can't do that. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it then? Have me fail the exam? I'm trying to restore time here. The time when it's alleged that I've fallen in love with you. No thanks. Can you at least take your feet off the table and take your hat off? You're undermining my authority as a teacher. What's with the silly get-up anyway? Take a guess. I've made myself my own tinfoil hat, so that I will always remember what a complete and total idiot you are. Always, that must be McChronicle's umbrella. Always prepared for anything, always assuming the worst. And everything, as always, without any style whatsoever. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. What's the deal with those stupid glasses, anyway? They help me to focus on my target. By making you practically blind? That sharpens all my other senses and protects me against pollen, household dust, and goat mites. I suffer from allergies, you see. Well, methinks you stand on the wrong side of the junk ball bat. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather that it rains candy? No. But that doesn't hurt, right? What are you doing? What does it look like? Oh, of course. You couldn't know. Oh, of course you couldn't know. It looks like two blind chickens wandered into the field. Further proof, if it were needed, that eyesight counts for nothing. We are professionals in our field. Uh-huh. Hitting the old junk ball? Battering smart asses. Oh, don't worry. He hasn't completed his training yet. That's why he's using the training bag. That must be the student tobacco Lonzo's always talking about. A plant whose normal habitat, funnily enough, seems to be the balcony of shared student apartments. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. <laughs> Locked. <sighs> Anything else would have been a disappointment, to be honest. Huh. Photos of baby wombats. Deponia 4 walkthrough for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. Hmm. This homeless person was playing with a capuchin monkey. What happened next took my breath away. <laughs> Which character from the ghost astronaut are you? Hmm. 
this home What are you doing here? You should be lecturing. I just wanted to stretch my legs. Then stretch them back to the lecture hall. And don't come back until the bell is rung. Go on then, hop to it. It reminds me of someone, my tax consultant. Hey, I found the scaffold. It flows downhill, but it flows. Hmm, it seems I don't have the right bait for my platypus trap. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. <laughs> I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No. We didn't know that. Mumu! That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me... Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. Can someone tell me why the time is... Because you're... How long is this seminar anyway? All day seminars run until... What? But that's far too long. It's already been too long. He's romantic, a ninja, and he can cook. Platypuses only eat stale bread. They spit out anything fresh. And then they complain that everything was better back in the day and write embittered online reviews. What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside it. So, the sandwich will get old. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. I've been doing those time travel experiments for years. I still find remnants under the sofa. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. See if this can motivate him. Yikes! What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. 
And now, inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 momo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting, underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? <laughs> Yippee, school's out. Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Damn, the anomaly is blocking the exit, but at least I'm not losing any time while I'm trapped in here. Just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. <sighs> and, are you coming along? Well, I can't see the sense in that. Uh, was that a yes or a no? to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful. Downright boring. Yeah, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. Please, Professor. Don't disturb him. He should be given time to think about his mistakes. <laughs> That's what I always say, too. But it's way funnier when you say it, because you repress your own mistakes. You smoke? Not anymore. Although on days like this, I wish I'd never quit. I I isn't that a little unreasonable at your age? The nicotine chewing gum was worse. Destroyed all my baby teeth. So you don't believe in temporal anomalies? How could I? I'm a scientist. And a very youthful looking one, too. Much younger than your own son. I jog. And you don't find anything strange about that? I don't know what you're trying to say. Could it be that your son is right, after all? Don't you start with that as well. There's no such thing as a temporal anomaly. Basta! How do you know that? Because I, unlike Junior, am a real scientist. And a very youthful looking one, too. And your point is? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. I sense another key moment. Personally, I prefer those break the window and turn the doorknob moments. But hey, you can't always get what you want. But... For the last time! There are no anomalies in time! Time anomalies are nothing but fantasy! Illogical, badly thought through, unscientific. I will not let my coherent worldview be destroyed by, by some random tin foil hat wearer. Whoa, chill, dude. Hands off. That's the key to Junior's laboratory. And the whole place is contaminated with crazy ideas. A warning sign for birds. Who thinks this stuff up? Birds don't need warning signs. They're free! Free! And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. They are pretty. 
They are colorful. And more importantly, they aren't part of some stupid mosaic puzzle. 